Okay, to make the smallest version of the wheel, you make, make a tower of fives, like this. Five rings with five in them. Okay. Around that you put rings with eleven. Now, that's counterintuitive because you would think it would need to be a multiple of five to go around a five tower, but you don't. One extra. So, like this. And notice it goes that way, not that way. So it's that's wrong. Put it in like that. Okay, now you've made the well, you made the simplest version of the wheel already. Now, like slightly, um, a slightly bigger version. Um, no, I put that in the right way. No. See how it goes like that. I should ram it through. You don't have to put them on as rings, you can actually just wind them around, but I'm just doing it this way to give it an idea. Um, in fact, I'll do it the other way from now on. And then you have to keep changing the direction so that it, it works. What I found was that even though that does work, it's not strong there. So what I did was just, instead of having the 5 as being the axle, I made the, um, I made the axle fatter. I just made the, the two central ones into the axle. So, so any of them will turn. This is just stronger if you're going to make it. I was trying to make gears and things, I guess. Um, now I've, I've gone beyond one set now, but um, the smaller versions you can make with one set. You notice that every row going out, starting from the middle, the middle goes this way, the next row goes that way, the next row goes this way, the next row goes that way, the next row goes that way. Each subsequent concentric ring goes in the reverse direction. And that's so that it won't lock. 